No, there's no question that L Brands has kind of been in a perfect storm of trouble. But this, I think, illustrates something I've seen so often in my reporting career. First, there's the scandal. There's how L Brands treated women who were models in the shows, who were executives in the company. And then after the issues come up, how, it's how does the company handle these issues? And that's what this column of mine really focused on, because here you had a, a, a high-ranking woman executive there, which a, another interesting thing is that although 90% of the employees there are women, the top ranks were all basically aging white men. But she was a, a high-ranking executive. She lodged a complaint with a longtime director who had just stepped down with the understanding that he would tell the board because she didn't feel comfortable going to HR. Very, very common scenario. 20 hours later, she learns from a facilities manager that her name is on a list to be locked out of the building. And then she gets a call from HR saying, we're putting you on leave. As I say in the column, this is a textbook case of how not to handle a sexual harassment complaint. And bear in mind, we have a company here, L Brands, that caters to women. The clients are overwhelmingly women and was already under scrutiny because of Les Wexner's ties to... Mr. Epstein. Mr. Epstein, who admitted to having sex with an underage girl. So it's, it kind of blows my mind that that wouldn't been have handled with the softest of kid gloves. We, we've been looking at some of the images of Victoria's Secret in the heyday, the angels. I mean, there, everyone knew that it, that it was stale, right? That the, the million dollar bras and the perfect bodies and the retouches was old school. And that's why Victoria's Secret lost so much market share and so much business over the years. I think what was so surprising about your piece was the culture that went all the way to the top of Les Wexner, who's considered one of the geniuses, longest serving CEO in the entire S&P 500 when it comes to retail and turning around a brand. How high up did this go? Well, it, it totally went to the top. I mean, it's very, very clear that the, the people who engaged in the most egregious conduct had, had a kind of, you know, free pass from Wexner himself. That anyone who tried to complain, they ran into Wexner and that was a stone wall. Now, Les Wexner built a huge multi-billion dollar company. I don't want to take that away from him. But you do have to question to what extent has he lost touch. I mean, many times working on this story, I had to go on the L. Brown's investor relations page on the web. Frankly, it's embarrassing. A giant picture comes up of, you know, very scantily clad women, all with exactly the same stereotypical body type, who look, frankly, like they're about 14 years old. Going to your point. That's on the so IR page? That's on the investor relations page. <laughs> and I, 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 it's embarrassing to have my colleagues walking by with like... <laughs> Jim, these, what are you working on? Yeah, like, what, what are you doing on, that, on the thing? I'm going to get in trouble here, you know, with internal... Um, you know, monitoring. But then some of my women colleagues pointed me to some newer, you know, competitors there. And you pull up the images. It's a, it's a world of difference. Harry it's diverse. There are example. different body types. There are different ages. Um, and, I, and it looks comfortable. It doesn't look like some aging white male fantasy uh, of what a woman should look like. So there's no question in my mind. I don't, whether it means replacing Wexler or not, I'm not to say, but they need a drastic change of image, in my view, again, speaking as another aging white male. <laughs> what, well, what happens now, do you think? I mean, as we pointed out, Wexner already under uh, pressure as a result of the significant underperformance and the pressures that, that Victoria's Secret in particular has been under uh, from investors, uh, although his board, it's not clear, was pressuring him at all. Uh, but what do you think happens now with, of course, your, your column, the story, I should say, now being added to the mix? Well, I think all eyes are going to be on the board at this point. And one of the things that really kind of stunned me was that the company made a statement on behalf of the independent directors, which was very proactive, very, in my view, very encouraging and saying, look, we realize this was a bad situation. We're going to correct it and we're going to, we're going to be a lot better. In my decades of work as a reporter, when the head of PR for the company, and I give them a lot of credit for doing this, but they step forward and make a statement like that on behalf of the independent directors without a word about Wexner himself in there or the non-independent directors, that to me is very significant. And I think I would take them at their word. They are going to do something in there, and I would expect to see a lot of change at the company. Exactly what that entails remains to be seen, but the status quo is not going to continue. And I think that's, again, why the stock is up so much. Wait, People are I, expecting... I guess, are you, being, are you referring to culture or operations? 
right? Because people are still looking for them to find a model that's not as mall exposed and can help revive some comps. But it's all it's all rolled in together. I think um, it's. Uh, it's both the execution of that, it's the marketing strategy, it's the brand image, and ultimately it's going to be who's leading this and on, in what corporate constellation. I mean, I, I think there is a case to be made that, again, having talked to a lot of young women, and old, you know, I mean just women, period, that there is a place for the retail store in this particular segment. It's not easy to order this blindly over the internet. Although, again, people are finding like with shoes and things, you can send things back. So, so maybe that model is going to change. But, I think you there want is to try a lot on your bra. There. That's yeah, exactly. Thank you. <laughs> there you go.